Welcome back to Management Decision Tools. And in this session, we'll continue our discussion of sensitivity analysis using Excel's sensitivity report. On this final section of our discussion, we'll talk about what we need to do uh, when the uh, changes are made simultaneously in different uh, variables or constraints. So, in our earlier examples, we have always been uh, trying to give examples on one change, either one change in the objective function coefficient for the range of optimality uh, analysis, or we have one change in the right-hand side if we are talking about uh, changes to the constraints. Uh, when we have situations in which we have two or more simultaneous changes to the coefficients or uh, when we have two or more simultaneous changes to the right hand sides then what we need to do is to first run by the 100% rule check that the total percentage of impact total percentage of change induced by the inputs by the changes by the various uh, multiple changes are less than 100%. If this rule is passed, that means the total adds up to less than 100%, then the guarantees still hold. Remember the guarantees? For the range of optimality, the guarantee is that the optimal solution will not change. And so we, get, we conclude by saying that, yes, since the total adds up to less than 100%, these multiple changes to different uh, coefficients of the variables will still result in no change in the optimal solution. We announce the same guarantee. Or if it is multiple changes done to the right-hand side of constraints 2, 5, and 9, for example, uh, and their disturbances all add up to less than 100%, say if it's 80% only, then we announce the same guarantee as given by the sensitivity report as in the shadow prices of 2, 5 and 9 still are valid and therefore we multiply the shadow prices by the corresponding change. Say constraint 2 increases by 1, constraint 5 decreases by 2 and constraint 3 increases by 3. So we can just multiply by plus 1 shadow price of 5 multiplied by minus 2 and shadow price of 9 multiplied by plus 3 add together. The reason why we can do that, because the guarantee for the three uh, shadow prices still hold, and that is they are still valid. So we can do a linear calculation based on the shadow prices. All right, so multiple as in all focusing on coefficients or all focusing on right-hand side. Now you might be thinking, what happens if I have a situation where I have a change my boss asked me to change one of the coefficients and simultaneously a change in the right-hand side. I mean, that's always possible. The, uh, the question is, our sensitivity report is unable to answer that kind of questions. So what do we need to do? Well, go back to solver and press the solver button again, right? So there are many other combinations where we are unable to squeeze further the sensitivity report. Now, this is not a shortcoming. So I want you to be clear in that we the 100% rule is trying to squeeze more value out of this sensitivity report. Because sensitivity report by construction was designed to answer about the impact to the output based on single coefficient change. Either change in the coefficient of, of objective function or change in the right hand side one change only right that's by design so fortunately we have this 100% rule that allows us to squeeze further you know for two three four and even ten simultaneous changes so long as each of them are just nibbling at the system and not creating big shaking of the system and the total is not more than 100% then by all means go ahead and make use of the guarantees so we are, we are squeezing a lot more value out of the sensitivity report than we could otherwise end up. So let's appreciate that this is making uh, giving us a lot of value already. Okay, so that's uh, what we are trying to uh, do here. 
And for what is uh, worth, please not try to memorize all these definitions because uh, it is not good for us to memorize and be able to regurgitate out and yet not be able to apply it. And I assure you that by just looking at an example uh, worked out together with me here, you should be able to understand how to use the 100% rule pretty easily. We'll see how we can do that. Let's move on to our first example to illustrate how to apply the 100% uh, rule to validate and check whether the uh, total amount of disturbances result in not more than 100% uh, disturbance to the system. So here is a sensitivity report all right, on the Olympic bike. And the proposed change is to simultaneously increase all right, the deluxe value from 15 to 60. And the professional from, uh, it's a reduction, from 17.5 uh, to 17. So the question is, what happens to the uh, final optimal solution. Would it be changed or not? Okay. Currently, we have Deluxe uh, showing a profit of $10, Professional Frame showing a profit of $15, and the proposal is 10 goes to 16 and 15 goes to 17. So first thing first is to map out the the um, direction of change okay now um, because both are proposed to be increased we know that uh, the current coefficient is to go from 10 to 50 okay and the maximum allowable increase is up to uh, 22.5 so uh, importantly the idea is that we have a gap of five here all right uh, out of a total of how much out of a total of 12.5 out of a total of 12.5 so let's let's do that okay so 12.5 is our 100 percent and 5 is the amount of disturbance induced by this change uh, was raised to 16 i'm sorry i should change this to 16 all right so six yeah so how much percentage is uh, this proposed change giving us we can easily calculate that to be uh, roughly uh, 50%, right? So, so answer is 48%. And next is uh, the proposed change from 15 all the way to 17. Knowing that the maximum amount that is attainable is 20 because it's uh, 15 plus 5. Yeah. Okay. So again, the in terms of range, the proposal is to increase by two and the hundred percent is actually uh, five okay so this will give us two divided by five times hundred percent and that is easily uh, calculated as forty percent so in total these two changes will induce an aggregate of 88 percent and it's less than 100%. So this is the 100% rule. This is the important uh, check that we need to do to ensure that the guarantee still holds. What is the guarantee? Because we are having simultaneous changes in the first half of the sensitivity report, the guarantee is that the optimal solution will not change. Okay, 
so long as it is less than 100%. So here we are having two roughly large changes, like 40%, 40%. You can also have um, 10 little changes, like each one having 7%, uh, 9% changes, so that they add up to no more than 100%. And what is our conclusion? Yes, the guarantee still holds. That is, the optimal solution still doesn't change. That's pretty amazing, don't you think? Uh, that without calculations, just by merely calculating fractions and percentages and using the sensitivity report, we are able to make this very profound conclusion even without clicking another time the solver button. So that's all thanks to the information provided by a uh, sensitivity report and of course the 100% rule. Okay, so uh, this will be how we use 100% rule as a first check. Now what happens if we get uh, a kind of disturbance that is larger than 100%? If that is the case, we say that since this is greater than or greater or equal to 100%, we are unable, all right, we are unable to uh, discuss the outcome, whether the optimal solution will change or will not change. The person has to click solver button again because it's disturbing the current system too much that it's actually another system. Yeah, you're, you're talking about what happens if I drive a, a Toyota car like a Ferrari? You're, you're driving, uh, you're using totally a, an inappropriate method to, to change the system, right? To, to operate the system. So it is another question. It is another uh, solver button to click. Okay. So that's an example on applying 100% rule on the range of optimality to see if uh, things are still uh, okay. So therefore we conclude that the optimal solution will not change. Let's change it back so that uh, we, so that our annotation is in sync with the 